Hi everyone, this is Lily Rose. Welcome to my channel. I'm a psychic medium and I will be doing a reading for the collective to see what is going on in the connection today for twin flame soulmates in relationships for anyone watching this video. So um, the first part will be about your person. I will get some names and I will also get maybe some angel numbers, some signs, some symbols, all of that. Okay. All right. So let's start off and see what's going on with your person. All right. What is going on with your person right here? This week, today, all of that. What is going on with your person? Okay, so we have a four of water coming out. Okay, so four of cups. Your person is feeling like they're in their emotions. They're hoping for the best, but they're not in a very good place right now. So it's kind of like they're worried and they feel kind of uh, overwhelmed by a certain situation. And I'm getting also a little bit sad, okay? Your person is wondering if this is over, if they can do something to change it, or what their next move should be. And um, you can see that this person is holding like this pearl in their hands, thinking, okay, uh, maybe there is something that I need to learn here. So they're looking at this uh, conflict or whatever it is that happened between the two of you in a way like, okay, what is it I'm, I'm supposed to learn in a kind of productive way, but they are still kind of sad here. All right, so they're going through the emotions here this week, today. What else is happening? All right, we have a two of water in reverse. So they don't feel loved. They don't feel like this is a good time for the two of you. They feel like you have taken away your love and um, your person wants a little time for themselves to figure out what's their next move, what's going to happen next. Okay, so um, it feels kind of like your person has withdrawn a bit and um, they need time for themselves. They need to figure out what's going on and they're a little bit in a sad mood right here. Um, we do have on the bottom of the deck a king of air. So they are using their thinking cap to see if they can think their way out of this emotional situation and what spirit is telling me right now is that um yes and no so it's a matter of balance and the reason why um this is happening right now for the two of you is that you guys need to come into balance so for your person they need to balance out their thinking their overthinking and for you you need to balance out your emotions and your attachment to this person so spirit is telling you um you, you shouldn't be too attached to this person in the way that you are maybe you're being a bit jealous maybe you're being a little bit um you're feeling like they're abandoning you abandoning you you're feeling codependent all of that spirit is saying put a lock on that like bring it back into balance and for your person they're being a little bit manipulative. They're being a little bit um, uh, narcissistic. All of these things, like just, you know, trying to just think with their heads only, not putting their heart in there. And spirit is also telling them, bring this into balance. So when they do that, or if you do that first, um, it's going to help this connection to grow. And it's going to help this connection to come back into balance. You guys kind of like veered off of the, um, the path a little bit. Okay, let's see what else is going on for your person. <clears throat> we have a six of air. All right, so this six of swords is kind of like um, Spirit is saying, look, there is going to be a moment where you feel like everything is up in the air. You don't know what to do uh, too much in this situation. Um, it does feel like you need to face things um, using your your brain energy a lot, using that sword energy a lot, and it feels like um, you might need to just take space, right? Take some space from this connection. Take some space from this person. Um, and I feel this is where your person, what your person is feeling right now. They feel like they need to um, change their perspective about this relationship, and they need some time to think. They need some time to meditate. All of that so i mean it's not necessarily a bad thing but it may hurt it may um cause you guys to go into conflict it may cause them to ghost you or for you to ghost them um but it is a necessary process here i feel okay it is for your own advancement 
um, that this person might be walking away a bit, at least for a little while. All right. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Any more messages here? Um, what's going on with your person? And we have the Hierophant. Okay, so that makes sense. It makes sense that your person is trying to ground their energies, um, their downloads that they are getting from spirit into words, right? And um, what I see here is uh, because this person is kind of taking a few steps back from this connection, and it's triggered them in a way that they have received downloads recently, like this week or last week. They've received downloads recently about you, about um, the spiritual realm and all of that. And they are having a little bit of a hard time like digesting those downloads, like taking the time to figure out what it means. So this week is them kind of like writing out what it means, doing their research, figure out, figuring out what this triggering is um, that they had with you maybe something reminded them of you and they hadn't spoken to you for a long time or maybe you guys were in conversation and your person got triggered whatever or you guys saw each other doesn't matter it's the same triggering and the triggering brought down this download on the two of you okay and it's a very big download i'm hearing so it feels like you guys need to digest this a little bit and um sit with it and this is why this space was created for you guys to sit with this okay i'm gonna get some messages directly from your person to you i want to use um i feel called to the good tarot today so let's do that um sorry not the good tarot this the, this um psychic tarot of the heart okay let's do that one because this was the good tarot okay psychic tarot of the heart. okay we have open up it's this one flew out so what I'm getting here is your person is saying, I'm opening up slowly but surely. You feel that there's no hope for this relationship. And your person is saying, I am opening up. I'm peeling away the layers. Be patient with me. I am trying so hard to do this for you. This is very hard for me. And I see that you are opening up. You are encouraging me. And um, it's helpful, but I need time. I need time. And I feel sometimes that when I'm opening up, that you won't love me. If I show you who you, I truly am, you might not love me. So the person is a little bit scared. I'm hearing, I'm hearing them say, what if you don't love me? It would just kill, it, it would just devastate me. Okay. All right. So let us, let us see what else is going on. Basal chakra in reverse. They want to put a hold on any like, um, relations like central relations that you guys are having because it could be in spirit and it could be in physical because it's kind of like muddying up the waters between the two of you they love that part about you but they want to put that on hold because they need to figure out some stuff that's going on here um they feel like if they don't feel your love they can't share um that physical love with you uh what i'm getting here also is that your person needs to figure out their security and their financial situation and that's making them anxious as well so they're saying one of the reasons why i am being kind of like sh shaky this week is because my situation is kind of up in the air and i have a lot to deal with on my plate and i'm so sorry that i took that out on you so your person wants to say that to you let's see what else oh wow this is this flew out like why uh your person is thinking about strengthening this bond with you contrary to what you might feel from them this space that they're creating here is to make this bond even better it's not to walk away for good it is to make um this connection stronger it is to get better it is to um digest these downloads so that they can explain it to you so that they can explain it to themselves and um so that they can walk down this path with you uh here we see that these are it's kind of like it's some beautiful flowers but it looks like white leaves and it's all about spirituality and getting to the end of this union thing right and they feel like um part of the union uh energy has to be going through these difficult situations with you i feel like when you guys were triggered recently it was a triggering that you did fear you felt it coming on 
and um but it was necessary okay it was definitely necessary we have heal so healing needs to happen here your person is saying that they are in pain okay we have this healing card coming out in reverse they are working on healing themselves right now they are in pain and they feel like they are stuck in a crazy situation there is probably a comic in here there's probably more than one comic in here your person feels like maybe they're chained to addictions maybe they're chained to like chained to like sexual addictions smoking drinking whatever it is drugs your person um in a bad relationship toxic relationship also some of them for a few of you here this could be some black magic all of that around your person right now that's making them act out this way so you might want to get some srts for your person clear the energy reiki whatever you can do okay one more message directly your person is crying out for a healing okay and they say balance part of this healing is balance and we see this coming kind of on the hierophant card so part of the downloads that a person is getting or that you are getting right now is to show you how to be in union with this person and how to be in union with yourself which means that it has to be through balance and um it just means that you need to balance out whatever it is you're doing too much of the excess and they need to balance out whatever it is they're doing too much of the excess so shadow work is definitely needed for the two of you and for your person a little clearing as well all right so let's get some messages from spirit i'm getting jacob i am getting uh oh that's interesting i am getting um it's like eli eli ellie eli i am also getting um jerome i am getting sam and i'm also getting it's a, uh it's a name with a d like diane okay uh that's a few names that i'm getting and i'm getting angel number one six three five one six three five if you do see it in on google put it in the comments below so everybody can um see what that is okay all right um that's what spirit is bringing to the forefront here so let us go and get some cards from spirit what do you want us to do or focus on while we're waiting for this relationship to heal or while we're trying to heal ourselves maybe some of you have walked away from this relationship and just focusing on yourself right and um you want some messages from spirit about it and you're just checking in a few uh, a few times so i see forgiveness oh my god spirit wants you to forgive forgive yourself forgive your person forgive all those people around you and i usually you know i do coaching about forgiveness and forgiveness is not about forgetting forgiveness is about releasing the hate releasing the um resentment releasing the victimization that you feel and when you release that you heal yourself so when you forgive you're forgiving mostly for yourself and it does do it does release a tension between you and that person like the spiritual tension that there is between you and that person that will make you sick so this is another reason to forgive the people in your life all right let's see i'm not saying forget i'm saying forgive all right power so spirit is saying your power um has kind of taken a dip this week you kind of feel a little bit weak which is normal you're going through this crazy transition and you just received some downloads so in order to get through this situation this week you need to boost your power boost your strength um build up your energies so you can do things that bring balance into your life like yoga like tai chi like breathing techniques meditation steve noble is really good um you can even just like listen to uplifting songs um sing in the shower whatever it is um you need to do that so that this card comes back upright okay uh let's see what else spirit wants you to say wants you to know focus they said that you had lost focus you were focusing on the wrong thing so maybe you were focusing on this person right here maybe you were focusing on um the connection too much um and spirit is saying regain your focus your focus should be also on you and your focus should always be on how to bring balance 
into your life okay staying on that path because i mean that's the only way that you will be able to um receive this energy of union receive this energy of um oneness with the universe and i feel this is the message that um spirit wanted to bring to you today um that it's not about this person did this to me this person did that oh my god this person is a a-hole whatever no it's about what did i learn from that lesson i need to release that negativity and move on in the right direction or heal this if it is for the highest good of everyone involved all right so i'm gonna leave it here do like subscribe hit that notification bell for me i will bring you more of these and i will um bring out an automatic writing later in the week and also a pick a card on my pick a card channel so do check that out love and light take care Thank you.